Does perfect even me? What a very good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our Harcourt's Four Seasons auction rooms. We've got the great eight for you today. Eight outstanding properties. My name's Mark. I get to be the auctioneer for all of them, which I'm pretty proud of. Always proud to work for the Harcourt's Four Seasons team. And we have got property right across the province for you to bid and buy. Good luck to you. I hope your strategy is sharp. You're ready to rock and roll. Uh, I don't work alone today with the benefit of the auction team. We've got James Twiss and Greg Roberts representing the franchise. Good, good smattering. Each of our managers coming along to attend. Wendy Sari's here, the new manager of the Hornby branch, but also our training manager. The lady with the clipboard. She doesn't just have a clipboard today. She has one every day, bossing people around. That's Rachel. Jess is doing the technology today. So uh, thanks to those who are joining us watching uh, the online stream at uh, harcourtsauctions.co.nz. It's not too bad. To the eight vendors that we represent today, thank you very much for your instructions. I've seen some of the meticulous preparation and the presentation of your properties. Hey, it takes a bit of effort too, but good luck. I hope we get you the, resu the result that you deserve. And on behalf of Four Seasons, thanks for the opportunity to represent you. I think that we should all just get on a level playing field for a fair contest today. Let's run through the conduct of auction. Don't read it while it's on the board, it's all in legalese, let's just put it in everyday language. The confidential reserve prices are in my pocket. Um, can't tell those to you, but we'll, I'll invite you to start the bidding. Your job's to bid to or even pass the reserve, but you must prevail as the highest bidder to win the auction. When I'll need this at that stage so I can go boom and sell you the property. Hey, what if we don't reach the reserve? Well, it's no cause to panic, it's not the end of the auction. If you're the highest bidder, we're just going to pause. The music will come back on, but I'll take you out into the main lounge here. We've got some tables reserved. So we can sit across from the table and I can offer you the chance to buy the property. So make sure you're that person. Um, if we're successful, uh, we'll get you sold. If the property doesn't sell today, of course, it is a problem because it goes back to the sales consultant from Four Seasons. Their obligation is to offer it to the 
wider market, including conditional parties. So you're the clever ones being here to bid at the auction. Let's hope we get you across the line. Sometimes the property can be withdrawn and sold in that process. Vanessa, how are you today? I'm looking forward to doing Winters Road. We're number four. We're just going through the rules of auction at the moment. Uh, where was I? Uh, we're talking about sometimes the property can be withdrawn and sold bef bef without declaring that reserve price. So if we're having that discussion outside of the room, sometimes the owner can say to me, Mark, go back into the auction room, get up at the rostrum and announce to everybody that, whoops, it's been sold outside the room. If you're waiting to have another turn, it's a disappointing situation. Make sure you're the highest bidder at all times. Now, you might hear me placing vendor bids, and that means that you're not bidding and that we're well below the reserve. Wouldn't place a uh, vendor bid anywhere near that reserve. So if you hear me bin, bidding on behalf of the owners, I'll make it clear. Um, then that means you can bid against that vendor bid confidently, knowing there's a bit of work to do to get you up into the selling zone. We've got some licensed colleagues from around the district from Harcourts. If they're bidding for buyers, I'll always tell you that. Uh, I believe we've got some phone bidding authorities as well. So if you see some of those blue and blue striped ties and rosettes with phones to the rear, that's what's happening there. I can nominate the bidding increments. I can refuse bids only if they're very, very, very cheeky and not in the best interest of the auction. Sometimes two bids are called out at the same time. I'll just determine which of those bids stands and we move on from there. The final thing you need to know is, bang, when you are declared the winner, a round of applause we'll, we'll get. You'll also get a pen to uh, sign the agreement. The deposit you pay today is just one-tenth of the purchase price. So uh, nice and easy, and thanks for signing the purchaser acknowledgement form before the commencement of bidding. Let's commence the programme. We are going to start uh, at this gorgeous property in Rotherham. Jackie Frame has been the lead marketing consultant. Uh, and has worked hard. Thank you to our owner and, and, and the, the owner's family uh, for being here today in what was the Amori Masonic Lodge some time ago, but beautiful home. It's sold in as, as is where is basis today, and I know that extensive documentation has been made available by Jackie Frame for you, um, but let's have a go and see if we can get you into the property. It is in Rotherham, number 30 George Street in the Huranui. What a great part of the world. It's a freehold parcel. The size of the parcel, well, it's over half an acre, 2,034 square metres, uh, more or less, lots 95 and 94, deposited plan 8, and that's in the certificate of, two certificates of title, so you have got the two titles, which I'm sure you'll see value in uh, as well. 1st of May, duck shooting, but it is the settlement date as well. Clause 23 and 24 just pertains to the information on the as is whereas nature of it just deletes clauses seven and nine around risk and insurance and those vendor warranties, which Jackie would have made clear. Well, it was the lodge back in the day, but it was been a, a loving and easy transition to the home that stands before you now. I think it still enjoys that uh, versatility that will suit your needs and your purpose. But what about the characteristics of the home? I love the timber flooring, the panelling, the gorgeous lead light windows throughout, the size and expanse of the rooms, Plenty of bedrooms, lovely outdoor sitting, elevation in that balcony as you overlook the Leslie Hills. It's a gorgeous se uh, section. It's well established and sheltered. You've got that beautiful gum tree, which is protected, of course, but a real highlight of the home under, the, under there for the garaging room up above that. Lovely feel to the home. What, is, what are your purposes for it? I'm sure you're going to enjoy getting a hold of it at what I would think is a very, very affordable level. What level is that? Let's find out. I'm going to ask you to start the bidding now here at George Street in the revered hamlet of Rotherham. They've gone quiet all of a sudden. But what about a couple of hundred thousand? Should we just get underway at that figure? Surely there'd be a sea of hands at that level, folks. Not just bidding on the letterbox. $200,000 vendor bid. Should we go on 25s from here? I think we should at $200,000 vendor bid. There we are, first of the day. Not selling at that level. Value above that. More than comfortable to place that bid there on behalf of the owner at two. Here we go. A bid coming through. Are we saying 225 for me? 15 squared. First call at two, second and third. Okay, vendor bid at 225. Who's going to say 250? Have it in your back pocket, surely. First chance. Second, third. Jackie, you go into the third stage. I'll wash it on to you. So I just raise it to say 280. Just as clearly not for sale at that figure, obviously. Pass in at 280, final vendor bid. See Jackie Frame immediately after the auction. You'll have your opportunity to buy it now. So good luck in those endeavours, Jackie. Thank you.
we move on. I'm working with Mike Brown, my licensed colleague and sometime auctioneer too, but he's a, he's a sharp man this time. Two appearances today, Mike. So the first of them at 361 Main South Road. Number two, not far from where you work on a daily basis at the Hornby office. And uh, a great opportunity um, for, whoops, I've got the wrong. wrong uh, that's right. So thanks, Neil, for the opportunity to sell uh, here, and good on you for the work that's been done. Good on you, sir. It's been freshened up inside. It's number 2361 Main South Road, cross lease and freehold. Chattel list is exact. Legal description is right on the money. And the settlement date, well, 24th of April. We've got some flexibility, of course. You can just about grab vacant position, Mike. I'm sure um, you can work to that. So let's take a look at the home. Hey, it's just purpose-built. It's perfect for purpose, I would say. Uh, solid rock, solid co uh, construction. Really nice, big, open-plan living. It's really good, spacious lounge. The addition of the third bedroom, that's been a winner for the home, hasn't it? Flooring's nice and fresh. Kitchen, bathroom, all tickety-boo. I really love the courtyard out the front and uh, great off-street parking that you enjoy there. Oh, you're over to the shopping centre straight away. Supermarket's right there. Might attend mega. Great spot to be and pretty close to the hub as well. I think you'll enjoy life here. It'll be nice, nice and uh, handy to everything you need and uh, a good spot to be ensconced. Start us away in the bidding. What do you think? Have we got some profferers of value here? Anyone? Sorry there? 425. Well, there's Wendy bidding for some nice people there. I met them before actually, 425. Good auction people, not afraid of the auction room. 425,000 we've got now. Say 450 might be the place to go. First chance there. 450, good on, good, good on you, and best of luck today at 450. What are we saying, Wendy? Go again. 460, okay, I'll work with the 10, no problems. 460, you pounce on that one. 470, good on you. You're comfortable with the auction too, good on you. 470, get unlimited. 480, nicely done. 480, it's been freshened up just for you. 480, first chance. Second chance, you can go a smaller bid than 10 if you like. Here to help you. Third call at 480. Try a little two. No, no further bid there. You're, the, you're in the lead. We've got to have that chance to be kind to you now, but we have to do it in private, so come on out. You know how it works. We're just pausing the auction. It's open and live. May have the chance to change your mind, but maybe not.
Okay, folks, folks, back we go to Main South Road, number 2361. Working with these astute property people. Love auctions, don't you, Lauren? You've given me an, you've given me an increase graciously and hopefully to buy. We're at 480, but you have increased too? 490. $490,000. I look to our other auction legends. You love coming here, don't you, Neil? Yeah, it's good. Hey, look, the good news is we're on the market at $490,000. I sell away any late bids, otherwise, she goes, she goes. First call, 490. Second call, final. Good news, number two, 361, Main South Road. You're moving in, honeys. Gone and sold. Well done. <laughs> nice stuff, Mike. We'll see you later on for Belcher. But very well done, Wendy. Thanks for your help. And Lauren and Chris, good on you. That's good. Thanks, Neil. Excellent. Long-time client of Mike's. Jeffrey Twiss, you're there. Oh, don't hide away from all these people. They want to see that smiling face. Hey, we're right in the heart of the city here, overlooking Margaret Mahi uh, play, uh, Playground, um, where I think, Jeffrey, you, after your open homes, you're going to have a bit of a slide and a bit of a swing. That's right. You take, take your wee kitties over there. Hey, thanks, Max, for your instructions. You know where we are above Monk's Cafe. Above Monk's Cafe. It's number 405, 282 Madras Street, Christchurch Central. Christchurch Central by name, Christchurch Central by nature. And it's a stratum and freehold, the old unit title. So did you have a pre-contract disclosure st statement? Good boy, Jeffrey. Never misses. Jeff works from the Belfast office. So um, great to have you back in the auction room. It's principal unit 41 and accessory unit 41A uh, on that depositor plan 492-995. Uh, 26th of April, so uh, in you go within this month, so that's good good handy terms, just the 16 days, it must be a Friday, so great day to move in. I think you can get excited about moving into the city, this is a funky, modern, dual key apartment, two bedroom, two bathroom, and these have been genius, they've been really, really popular, obviously the, 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 the situation and position is outstanding. This one's got both, both sides, views, views on both sides, oh, so no, it really is nice. It really is okay. <laughs> Must have said the wrong thing again. No, views north and west. Get that afternoon sun. Look at the decking. Really, really smart. They're well appointed. Um, super, super contemporary in the interior. Slide those doors back and enjoy. Cozy and warm in the chillier days. Great size in the bedrooms. Uh, closest car park to the lift, so that's handy too. That's got to be an asset for you. Um, but you just take advantage of our burgeoning city. Man, it's getting exciting. That stadium is leaping out of the ground. Not so sure about the cathedral, there might be a bit of work to do on that one, but hey, let's see, we'll get there in the end. City life, get excited. Let's go here at Madras Street. 405. Hoping for something a bit higher than 405. What about 504? Is there 500,000 to start away? Who's into it? Christchurch City, get amongst it. Certainly change your life. 500, sir, good luck. At $500,000, we're away. With my good man in the front at 500, do we go to 520? You tell me. I'm happy to go higher than that. Don't let me limit you. But at $500,000, with my opening man, first chance. Second call. Third call. I'm not going to vendor bid against this good gentleman, so if you want to bid, you should do so now. If there's no other bids, I'm going to adjourn and speak in private. Opportunity may be withdrawn, you never know. Any bit on top, sir, scratch that ear. Right, sir, no vendor bids, that's, that's not fair on you. Come and we'll have the conversation in private, I'm talking to you first, give you the opportunity to buy. Not at a level clearly I can sell, but let's come and do it, we'll have a nice chat. Come on out.
I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
be the one living in a fast lane Used to be the one who only crying in the rain I used to work so hard to get it It's so hard to get it She was just accused me of turning up in my pyjamas. I didn't think that was very nice. But anyway, we just still haven't quite got there on, uh, on Madras, but we'll just park that so we can carry on and uh, keep your busy people occupied. Andrew Sari is uh, the lead marketing consultant that we have. And we're going to 51 Winters Road, quite a significant day for certain people in the room. Uh, but it's a great family home, this one, in that desirable hamlet of Redwood. It's number 51. I do say thanks very much, Vanessa. You've been great to work with, and I know Andrew's had a super campaign, met lots of lovely people. And um, hey, thanks for the chance to look after you and, and represent you today. We really appreciate it. We wish you the very best, and to the bidders in the room. Your legal advisor would have confirmed that 51 Winters Road is a freehold estate. Now, the size of the parcel has got to be appealing to you. 809 square metres in that beautiful flat rectangle. Uh, lot 2, deposit plan 13868 in the Canterbury Land Registry. Now the chattel list, well it is unchanged from that that Andrew uh, has circulated and you know the wood fire is part of your chattel list too. I wish I had one of those. Absolutely love it. Settling on the 7th of June, so you've got a good period of time there to get, get organised and get, get your affairs in order and uh, moving in in the 7th of June. Well, 30 years is quite a tenure, I think you'll agree, three decades, so it's a significant day for my owner. And she has done a lot of improvement to this home. There's been regular enhancements. I think the open planning of the living was a really good move. Uh, dual living situation, of course, with the lounge at the front as well. So you've got plenty of space, really good sized bedrooms, a lovely open kitchen that's been modernised with the breakfast bar. And you know it's been proven because I sat there at the dining table and uh, had a chat with um, Vanessa who was in the kitchen doing bits and bobs. So you're always going to be in touch with the chit chat which is great. A double glazing put through the home, that's been genius as well when you've got the fire on, it's cosy, it is warm. Uh, great deck, you can see it's all north facing, the backyard is an absolute beauty. And um, there's been a lot of sport, a lot of games played out there over the last three decades, I can assure you of that. A uh, good double garage at the front as you can see there. It links up perfectly with the motorway in that system, so that's about 700 metres down the road, your own private access to that road. Of course, with a new pack and save, you can walk there, and that's been a hit. It's been a bit busy at the moment because uh, people love a new supermarket, don't they? Northlands, obviously, um, it's a super spot, all those secondary schools, so uh, easy for the kids to get to school and back. And they're, they're all, the, all the shopping and amenities on Cranford Street as well, so brilliant location, lovely home, going to be sold. Who's going to start? The bidding. And where would you like to start? You tell me. 600. 600. There's Aaron Johnson. He's from our Brotherhood at Harcourt's Vision, Bishopdale office. We're away at 600. Have we got a bid in advance? 605. Okay, we'll work with that. 605. Not too bad. Easy one to leap, sir. 605. First chance. Just fired the one shot today. Second call. Third call, 605. I'm going to vendor bid at 16. On behalf of the owner at 16. Anyone else? Say 15. First chance. Second call. You go 15, Andrew. Final chance. Anyone else? 615. I'm not going to vendor bid against you anymore. Is there 20 or better to go at Winters Road? First chance. You won't even know it's winter living here. Second call. Third call, it's 615, white flag Aaron. Okay, pausing the auction to talk to your buyer, Andrew. 
We'll just get the owner's trips to take a comfortable seat outside. So just close that off. Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. But darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down.
We're going back to Madras Street, folks, and I've just got an update for you. We're at 405 282 Madras Street uh, in this apartment here, Jewel Key, working with good people. So you've increased that bid and, and to buy. Can you announce the amount of the figure, please? 610,000. And I look toward our vendor. Are we getting the nod at that figure? $610,000, the property selling. Good news. A new owner. Not a big job to move. <laughs> First call, second, third. We're on the market and selling. 610000 405 282 Madras Street. Going, going. Happily sold to find people. You're the new owner. Well done. I'll just take a quick pause. We're coming back with Hodgson's in just a minute, but we're going to conclude at Winters Road. Running through the lights of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my tongue Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright, alright Cause I'm free, I'm freer than I've ever been before Yeah, alright cause I'm free I'm freer than I've ever been before
Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're not too far away from an outcome at Winters Road, but that's just still in progress. Rhiannon and Moss, you'll be eager to get the auction underway here at 56 Hodgson's Road in Lowburn. Is it quite possibly the perfect lifestyle situation? I absolutely love it. I'm sure you do as well. It is a beautiful property and it's been quite a tenure in ownership, I think 23 years. So thank you very much to the Dandos for the opportunity. Congratulations on the way you've presented the property, the effort that's gone into it. The continuous improvement that's been made through the home is really quite stunning. Rhiannon, of course, she's working hard on the campaign. I think you've met a lot of people there, Rhiannon. So uh, it's been a popular property and, and of course it deserves that. It's freehold. It's on 2.0234 hectares, so that five acre situation. Uh, legal description is absolutely accurate. You've got through to the 29th of May for settlement, the chattel lists are unchanged. So uh, let's go and take a final last look through. What a shot of the home. There's a great saying in life, it says make haste slowly, and that's what our owners have heeded, is they have just faithfully and continually maintained, improved, enhanced this property. What about the living in the home? It's such a style and, and funky groove to it. It's contemporary, but it's got character at the same time. Lovely big kitchen island, great dining communal area opens up into your beautiful spacious lounge with the two cavity sliders, gallery ceilings filled with light, untold access to the central hub of the home. That pool area is fantastic with access throughout the home, including from your superb master suite, which the en suites had the most recent of two upgrades and it's an absolute beauty. Beautiful bathrooms in the home. What about the pool area? Separate barbecue area as well. Uh, you've got the separate office or studio room that beautiful powered shed with its huge clearance and uh, a lot of activity in there. Look at the timber flooring in the home. Nothing has been spared in terms of uh, attention that it's enjoyed. You know it's got character. You know it's going to suit your, your family, your lifestyle. This is the one you've been searching for at Hodgson's Road. Can I proffer up an opening bid, ladies and gentlemen? Who's going to start us away? Who's got an opinion on value? In lovely Lowburn. Vinny, you know this part of Canterbury pretty well. Has someone got a million dollars for me? Let's get busy, come on. Five acres, beautifully established, well fenced. Starting us where, is there a mill? Or better? Take that bid, sir. 
I'm not taking that, that loan. I'll take a million. There we go, we're away at 1-1. One, one. Sensible bid, good luck, sir, at a million one. Have I got 1-2 one, to go at 1.1 1. 1 million? First chance, all the work's done in pristine condition. Second call at the 1-1. One, one. Do I hear 1-2 one, or better? 1 million 100,000 is the bid we've got, sir. Third and final call at 1-1. One, one. Would you go to 1-2 one, or maybe 1-150? One, 11-5. One, good stuff, I've got 1-150 one, one, here. At 1-1-5, one, one, I on 1-2 straight back. Good, of course you would. At a million two, who goes next to go with one and a quarter? 1.2 at this stage. Sir, are you saying 1250 for me? Real great style through the home. Meticulously renovated. 1250. Greg Roberts on the, on the phone with the bidder. And he's back to 1.3, is he? At 1.250. Sir, 1.3. Nicely done. Gentleman in the middle takes that bid there at 1.3. 1 1.350 if you like. Or maybe straight to the 1-4. One, At 1-3, one, first call. Yep. one three fifty. Got that bid, banked and thanked. At 1-3.5. One, 1-3.5.0. One, oh, so you get the next one in quickly. At 1-3.5.0, oh, you'll go a long way to find something of equivalent to this. Second chance. Take that bid quickly. Which, which of you is it going to be? 1-3.5. Once I call it, second call. 1-4, I heard it there, gotcha sir, at 1-4, one, 1-4.50, four. One, four is that the next bid you go, million four, everything in place, for a great lifestyle, at 1-4 in Lowburn, first chance, second call, he's chopped his bid in half, at 1-4 and 2-5, I obviously offer you the same courtesy sir, at 1-4.25, first occasion, Second chance, so you could get him for a 10 here. Third call, 1425. He's taken the 10, sir. 1435, Rian, I'll just grab some information from you, some instructions at 14 and 35. 450. 1450, Rhiannon. There we go, I can sell. Instructions have changed. Now we sell. Concession made at 1450. This is the time to get back in, sir. At 1450, try another 10 or maybe a 15. 450 at the moment. Hodgson's Road. 1460. Appreciated and astute. 1460, what's Bub saying? <laughs> at 1460, Bub's needs more. At 1475, puts up the 15 for me now. In auctioneering parlance, we call it the Commodore at 1475. Straight to 15 at a million 475. I think it's a good move. 1480. 1480 appreciated. And astute, straight to the 15. Lovely bid. 1.5. I knew someone was going to take that bid. One and a half million, all the effort's gone in from our owners. You reap the benefits. Stay with the tens. I'd like to change it up. Put the pressure on and say 25. At 1.5. I'm on the market and selling. Test them out on that round figure, so you must owe it to yourself. At 1.5. Try a cheeky 10. See if that's, the, if that's their max. Auction rule 101, never let them stop on a round figure. It may be their most. Have you got time for a cheeky 10, sir? Before it goes, it goes. Greg, your bit of leads. Try a little five. Anything on top of that could be the best bid you ever make. Sure. You don't want to let it slip through your fingers. You've come so far. You've come far at a million five, once! <laughs> Sir, you know, changing your mind, it's a sign of strength. Twice, and it goes. Third call, I think get excited. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, no underbidders lament here. No regrets. Try we five, but quickly, I've got the hammer up. Once it's down, she's all over. There's gotta be a handful for me. 
I'll give you a moment. Get an agreement. Respectfully, Greg. I'm going to give these good people the opportunity for your future. Excuse me a minute. Put that fire on. I'll give you a quick second. He's confirmed his bid at 1.5. I think a little bit might be Sage. We're done. I hate to see him miss out. We're done, and that's a bloody good price. 1.5? Okay, well, I won't muck about. Hey, I really appreciate your bidding. Thank you. Okay, I just, just did want to give you the opportunity to make sure certain adamant, vehement. Take your last long look at 56 Hodgson's Road. The gentleman on the phone is going to be the new owner at 1.5. Nice round, easy to work out the deposit. <laughs> Gone and sold, well done. <laughs> hey, Rhiannon, I have to congratulate you on that campaign, how hard you worked. So well done into the Dandos. Thanks very much, that's great. Good stuff, thanks, for, thanks very much, that's good. I'm going to get an out, come on, Winters. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
To Windows now. Remember, my good Vendor has been living in this home for over three decades, but that is going to come to a close, Vanessa, because with an increased bid of 640,000, number 51 Winters Road, I've got permission to sell. You yeah, have, Vanessa, you've been marvellous to work with, a tremendous girl. At 640,000, I sell away once, twice, and third time. Thank you, Murray. Good luck. And the boy will be happy too. What a nice dad you are. Gone and sold. Ooh, good boy. Hey, well, I think we're bang on three o'clock, so we just yeah. move straight on through. As Mr. Brown, Mike is ready to go again. Are you available for indoor cricket tonight, Mike? That's good. It's a later game tonight. Belcher Street in Kaipoi, in the good part of Kaipoi as well. What a home this one. You smell the fresh paint, you feel the new flooring under your feet. Those white barstools, I had to own up to Mike. I sat down there when I was inspecting the property. I got a little bit of a pen mark on one of those beautiful white leather chairs. So apologies for that. I hope we managed to get a bit of, bit of turps onto it. All sorted, that's good, that's good. But <laughs> I'm not sure it's in the chat list anyway. Belcher Street uh, in Kaipo, it's in a great spot, reserved directly across the road. That's going to be handy uh, for those in young families. Uh, freehold Estate at number 16, 708 square metres, it's a really good section, uh, very, very usable, uh, legal description is bang on, it's a Wednesday settlement too, which I always like to see, the 24th of April, and um, wood fire, two panel headers and the heat transfer system uh, is, is great for ambience, and you did find the auto garage door opener and remote too, Mike, so that stays in the chattel list as well. Well, a really decent home. I think this is the one to, to catch your eye. And I feel it's a standout property, don't you? I mean, the renovation's been great, but it's got a fantastic lay layout. Open plan, accessibility in the kitchen, uh, floor-to-ceiling windows in the, in the bedrooms as well. Um, so great space as well, balanced between, uh, between the living and the accommodation. I think that's fantastic. Outdoor area par excellence, lovely garden. Easy care as well, absolutely low or no maintenance, so I think that's perfect for me. Garaging at the front, it's quite a private, secluded spot too, very, very quiet. Easy to get into town, of course, in Kaipoi. The roading changes are fantastic, aren't they? From the river town, you bang into town as quickly as you like. Okie dokes, let's get underway at Belcher Street. We're not talking the old Canberra fullback, we're talking Kaipoi real estate. Who starts us away? Somewhere on an early five we thought was the place we would suggest, but we'll give you the opportunity to, to, to dictate terms. What about the wake-up call, 5.30? We'd have a bit at that level. Welcome in, sir. Good luck to you. 5.30, underway. Seeking a 20 from here at 530,000. Belcher Street. Pristine Nick. Tip top. 5.30, first call. Is there 50? Second call. 550, welcome in. A bit in competition, sir. Carry on in 20s if you like. You might like to go straight to six. No, it's 570. 570, that's the bid. 90. 590. We'll bump it through to 610 if you like, sir. Yep, good on you on the nod. It's 16. It's 16. And chip me up at 610,000. It's in chipper condition. 16, first chance. Second call. At 16. 6.30. 6.30. We're up and alive now at 6.30. Not too far to the high school. 630,000. Great position. In a house proud neighbourhood. 50. 650 is the bit. 70 is the next. It's 650. 55 working with you, sir. 
Six, five, five, making it a little bit easy. You go five. Six, sixty. Music fans here. Six, sixty. Saw them live. Six, sixty-five, if you like. Six, sixty at this stage. First chance, can't fault the presentation. Second chance. Six, six, five, so we're at 660, pardon me. Try two and a half. 662, 500. 662, 565. 665, six, got that bid. Thanks, Mike. Mike Brown, he's a busy boy. 665, six, six, seven and a half, if you like. 665, six, appreciate that. Try a little bit. Okay, sir, I've just got to, got to get you into the home, but I need to have a chat in private. If, they, if you don't mind popping out with me, I'll just pause the auction for you. Change my mind. Is your head spinning? Is your heart racing? Is the fire in your veins? Are your bones burning? Is your skin yearning? Cause you're driving me insane. I kinda feel like I feel like I saw the light. You got me way up a thousand miles. Can we stay right here in this atmosphere? Like we fly. Don't look down of this high. 
does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down Okay, folks, just uh, just waiting on an update for you. Thanks for your patience. We'll just we'll just head out to Waikuku Beach. I told you we we're getting around the province today. I've got the privilege of working with Lisa Tippin, who from our Rangura office. Um, she's not only a great person, the, the queen of Waikuku Beach, as we say, as a resident, but also as the real estate go-to as Lisa Tippin. You represent your good clients and friends today, Lisa, at Five Allen Drive in uh, Waikuku Beach, and you know where it is. Great position, great spot here on this freehold title, um, comprising 777 square metres. How's that? Pretty good. Uh, legal description's accurate. Settlement date the 19th of June, gives you a little bit of breathing space. And uh, garage door opener and remote is staying with it. And um, the two fixed bookcases are part of your chattel list, as well as all the good standard ones. Peace, tranquility and serenity is what we offer you here at Allen Drive. What a beautiful spot, isn't it? you tucked away with a big garden in front of you, lovely, light, bright, spacious home. Plenty of windows just as you're taking your view to your very easy care garden. Those rhododendrons are lying wait to come out and bloom for you. No effort required to look after that, Gordon. Keep those lawns mowed, it's perfect. You've got the wood fire to stoke up in the winter. As I say, that lounge is fit for the whole social group, for your whole family group can all come and relax at your place. Lovely big spacious kitchen, open and accessible with the breakfast bar too. Good size in the bedrooms, plenty of storage in the home, indoor outdoor flows, fantastic. And you've got great uh, outdoor relaxation and entertainment zones for any conditions. Excellent double garage with the property as well. Room to grow the veggies. Of course the, the, the beach community, it's what people really, really enjoy. It's great for your health, for your activities and for your lifestyle. So. Very proud to offer up 5 Allen Drive here in Waikuku Beach. Have we got an opening bid to go? Just when we're getting to the good stuff. We thought we'd kick her off at late 5, 580. Tracked interest there. I'll vendor bid at that level at 580. Put you on notice who's going to move to the beach. It's a great spot here. Big hedge across the road, sheltered, it's private, second call, 580 is there's six, ma'am. Would you say the six for me, third chance? I'm going to vendor bid at that level at 600. Put you on notice. If we're off to the third stage, Lisa will be on the phone to those people waiting, watching online, working with Harcourt's buyers, 600 is their 20. First chance, second chance, third. Lisa, no hands going up, we don't panic, we go through to that next stage. We're going to price the property, aren't we? in this instance, so 699, 699,000, I think that represents excellent value here in Waikuku Beach on that big section of 777 square metres, one of the bigger, more spacious and comfortable lounges that you will enjoy, the log burner, easy care home, it's the spot to be, the market price is $699,000, that will pique your interest, place your interest towards Lisa Tippin at our Rangura office, she'll be very glad to hear from you. So thank you very much, Ellen and Sandy. We'll be back with you in a minute. We're going to go with Shona to the Oaks, but we'll see how we go in the future.
with our highest bidder at 665. Marty, you've graciously, graciously increased that bid and hopefully to buy. Can you call out that figure, please? 685,000. I look to our good owners. We're going to say yes. We're on the market at 685. We've got to give you a chance. So you can leap back in and say 720 or something like that. At 685, what about 686? 685, we're on the market at Belcher Street. In great condition, this home. Perfect, ready for you to move in. Step your mark on it. Could be a hard search to find the next one. Once I count it down, twice and third. Quickly. No, Marty, you're in business. Thanks very much. You're moving in. 685. Gone and sold. Well done. A good win. A good win indeed. Right, now where is Shona? Shona Rob. Well done, Mikey. Two for Tuesday. Thanks very much. Good on you guys. Yeah. Hey, well, last opportunity. Shona, where are you? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, yeah. She's back. She's back. Kevin and Gay, that's right. Hey, we're going out to Lincoln, Seven Oaks Drive. Take a look at this one. It's an absolute standout home. I was so impressed with it. Miriam and Chris, thanks for your instructions. Oh, there you are, Miriam. Good, you did make it. Well done. Uh, again, what a modern, stylish home. Got that architectural feel about it. What about the ceilings? Look in the home. The skylight's fantastic. The connections to the outdoors. There's lots of features I want to tell you about. Four bed, two bath. Um, right in the oaks there in Lincoln. It's a freehold estate. It sits on 802 square metres. Hey, it feels larger than that with your reserve outlook, of course, as well. Uh, beautifully established, lot 8, deposited plan 481794 in the Canterbury Land Registry. You've got through to the 3rd of May to settle, so just a few weeks and you can move on in. And then you're going to be cosy with those uh, European-inspired, almost triple glazed windows, aren't they? With the gas infusion, the argon, argon gas in them, so it's cosy. But they changed out the doors, our good owners, they're good property people, they know their egress to the outside, the flow as we call it, is important to you. But what an atrium of living. Just gorgeous spaces, just that feeling of infinity with those high ceilings, really design a kitchen with the quality materials, bench top, walk-in pantry of course is outstanding, the scullery situation is fantastic. Leads through to the laundry and the garage. The lovely second lounge or nook media room, that's a cracker too. That's great for Netflix nights I think and uh, get the kids in there for a bit of cartoon network I would have thought. With the extra, extra bedroom and accommodation, two bathrooms of course, the master en suite is superb. A really decent walk-in robe, so even though you only get 11% of it as a man, then you, you've got plenty of space for your suits as well. Uh, great garaging in the home. The position is what I say is, is beautiful. It's got great features. That, the, the, the roof itself has got that long-lasting material, uh, a real feature of the home. But it's a beauty all in all. It's the last chance for you today not to go home homeless, so let's start us away in the bidding. What are we saying? What's your opinion on where we should start? We thought we'd uh, start at the half mile mark in old parlance at 880. What do you think about that? We thought that would excite the bidding community. Don't let me limit you though. I'm looking your way, ma'am, for that opening bid. 880, maybe a nine. You tell me. It should be easy, easy buying at those levels. Ma'am, could I ask you to start at 880? Away we go at $880,000 and we're underway in the auction with a live bid from the floor. I'm seeking nine now in competition. $880,000. It's all there for you. Beautiful garden. Sheltered, private, lots of sunshine. Lots of light, natural light in the home. Plenty of warmth, of course. Be reassured with the engineering on show. First call, eight eighty. Second. Are we leaping into action? You guys going to say nine? Shake of the head. Doesn't buy houses. What about your good group? No? 880. Look, ma'am, they're not going to compete against you. Why don't we pause and just talk in private? I, I don't feel you, you'd wish me to be vendor bidding against you, so happy to have that conversation and offer you the chance to buy. Come on out and see.
Highest bidder to a million and ten thousand. Property's not going to sell at that level. It's got to be higher than that. So I'm going to pass the property back to Shona at Seven Oaks Drive. Not for sale at a million and ten. How much more? Well, you better talk to Shona Rob and she'll help you uh, get there. So is that good news for you? No. What about for you guys? Do you possibly? Good, good. Okay. Well, Shona's here, so now will be the time to strike while the iron's hot. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it very much. I wish you a very happy end of the week and a great weekend. See you later on.